Hello, Pisces. This is your Tarot Love Tea Love and Romance reading with me. This is Joyce here, Shadow by You Tarot with Alanya bringing you your love tea. So let's get to it, Pisces, and see what the tea has for you. All right, let's start with some Romance Angels. Whoop for Pisces. What jumped out at me here is soulmate and past life relationship. Woo! Yes, this is your soulmate. You have known each other before. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right, let's get down to it. Using the Gilded Tarot, let's get into the love tea for Pisces. Love and romance. Spirit, give me the most current, most dominant energies for the zodiac sign. Woo! Pisces in love. Love and romance. Please keep in mind, guys, these messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does resonate. Leave the rest behind. All right. And if you would like a private reading with me, for your private situation, your personal situation, everybody's got one and everybody's got a different kind, usually. Just email me here, shadowbyutarot at gmail.com. First one out the gate, we have here the Six of Cups. Remember what we said, past life relationship. This is your soulmate. Woo, I dropped it. This is your soulmate. This is soulmates coming back together. Mm-hmm. After healing. And we have here the ten of pentacles. This person wants love and marriage with you. This could have been someone you guys were married to in the past, some of you. And the relationship could have ended and this person wants to return. If that is not your story, then you have a soulmate who after time has passed and has done some work on themselves, some healing. Could have been a third party situation, doesn't have to be. But we do have three swords on the wall. And we have the sword of clarity and truth wanting to start that communication up once they're ready because they want to take it to that next level. We have here the King of Wands, Energy, Aries, and Sagittarius. We also have the Seven of Swords and the Moon. So someone definitely is trying to hide the fact that they are very emotional at this time, trying to heal themselves, hiding their feelings, Pisces energy. This could be you, Pisces. If not, it's the person you're dealing with. Yes, yeah, someone has not been honest about how they truly feel here. They're waiting for you to come towards them. We have that fire sign in Aries and or Sagittarius. Aries is the king of swords of uh, excuse me the king of wands Sagittarius is the queen but it could be mixed meaning this could be a Sagittarius or an Aries person it's very 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 close but this person is waiting for a reconciliation they really are
They want clarity. Somebody here wants clarity in this situation. They don't understand exactly what happened. They don't have the full truth is what I'm getting. The Seven of Cups, choices. Somebody had other choices. This could have been related to money, a job situation, or someone wasn't giving as much in the relationship as the other person in the Six of Pentacles and is coming in with an apology. They're keeping their feelings and intentions hidden at this time. Two of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords energy and we also have the Seven of Pentacles. So someone is taking an assessment of this situation. They have... Whoever walked out clearly knows they made a bad judgment call. They made a bad choice doing whatever it is they did in the Seven of Swords energy, sneaking around. I really feel, I really feel it was, for some of you, someone who didn't realize how much they loved you until it was too late. Some of you, others of you, this person realizes their behavior, the choices that they made were very, very poor, poor choices. Not planned very well. And some of you guys that blew up in your face or in that person's face. Now there's a lot of remorse here, a lot of regret. A lot of depression for some. Somebody's really beating themselves up over this because they know they were wrong. We have a spy here in the Page of Swords. And we have here the Five of Swords, which is about change. So there could easily be someone isn't sure what to do because they don't know if you're involved with someone else. Others of you. They're up in their head a lot because they know they caused this problem, number one. Number two, they're trying to watch and see and figure out how to fix this. How to come back from what they've done. They want a new beginning with you. A foundation that's solid, built on truth and honesty and longevity and commitment. They want marriage, family for some. They will be taking action very, very soon, adopting that King of Wands energy. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person wants a new beginning with you in love. They're either cutting away from someone or you are. But they're getting away from bad influences. Could have been friends, could have been another person. As far as a lover, this could be you or them. Take it as it resonates. But yeah, basically their intention is good. It's all about true love and building a solid foundation here in the Ace of Pentacles for long-term commitment. So what is... Ooh. Let's see. What is the projected outcome? What is the projected outcome, please, Spirit for Pisces, regarding their love life? What is the projected outcome? can tell you what it is following your intuition in the high priestess coming together reconciliation healing forgiveness new beginnings someone does feel stuck they know that you are their happiness Pisces and they do want that new beginning they are gonna come in with an offer 
first they're going to apologize and then they're going to offer you that two of cups the opportunity will present itself for a new beginning you both want this i feel so make connection here somebody stepped out or let friends influence them if it's not another lover or this could be you so take it as it does resonate and i'm gonna pull from moonology for you guys spirit give me messages please for the zodiac sign of pisces regarding love and romance pisces regarding love and romance Your commitment is being tested. So some of you do know that you are going through a test. A test that the universe has placed upon you and it's a time for healing. There are lessons that both of you guys need to learn here, Pisces. A time to release negativity. It's a time to heal and forgive. A win-win outcome is forecast. So, there will be justice here for the majority of you. There is a situation, or a actually a few situations here, that's being healed. And you can only heal a part. These are lessons that you and your person have to work on alone. That do affect the relationship, okay? So keep that in mind. But it looks to me like the majority of you will decide to have a reconciliation. So good luck with that. The majority of the signs here are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Well, really everybody's here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries is very heavy here. Pisces is very heavy. Scorpio. And I'm going to say Taurus. There we go. Those are the heaviest energies. So guys, take what resonates. It doesn't matter the sign. It matters. It's an energy reading. You can have, or they can have, you know different signs in their chart or just be adopting the attitude the emotion of another sign it just depends on the situation the environment this person is in the influence their way of thinking their belief system whatever the case all right guys if you want a private reading with me just go ahead and email me here, shadowbyutero at gmail.com. Please hit subscribe. Bye. Give me that thumb. Comment down below whether this reading resonated or not. Hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live here on YouTube with Super Chat where I answer your questions live. Thank you for watching and come back again. All right, guys. Have a good one.